Atheist Republic's glorious return to Twitter. Guys, we didn't talk about this yet because we had, you know, really important stuff to talk about earlier in this year with the rest of Sohail Arabi. Um, but we can officially announce that after, I think, a year of being suspended, I think it was over a year of being suspended, Atheist Republic is now magically back on Twitter. How did that end up happening, Armin? Did you actually file an appeal or did suddenly one day they were just like... No, no, I filed an appeal. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. Amazing. So we're back. We're back on Twitter, guys. Amazing. I for, I don't know for how long, but we're back for now. <laughs> yeah, go follow us. Please go follow us. So for people who don't know, can you explain to them why we were banned from Twitter? Oh my gosh. So our Twitter saga goes back to Armin's sexy Cali blasphemy, which put a target on our back ever since. And uh, basically we suffered a lot of targeted mass reporting, um, people following, filing false DMC takedown claims against us. And um, then finally we ended up getting banned on, wait, no, no, no. It hasn't been a year, not yet, because it happened. I remember now I remember we got suspended on April 1st of 2022. And I remember because I was like, there's no way this is an April fool's joke. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So, and Twitter never told us why we were suspended. They never told us because, why. It was because of but We Kelly. found out why later. Yeah. And like they you know they're supposed to send you an email they're supposed to describe why we would suspend us they would say no we are committed to this ban still wouldn't tell us why in the court proceedings that we had for our blasphemy case in the delhi high court which twitter was a party to that case because there were some people that were so freaking butt hurt over like three tweets we had about hinduism that they were going to sue twitter to remove the contents of our tweets. And basically throughout these court proceedings, Twitter agreed to remove these quote unquote objectionable tweets from the Indian market. And they did. They followed the terms of what the court order was. The a, a court in Delhi ordered Twitter to remove our tweets. Yeah. That's real because of blasphemy against Hinduism which were so mild in comparison to our memes against Christianity or Islam. But the judges literally acted personally victimized because it was Hinduism. Saying, oh, you wouldn't do this if it was against other religions. Literally, what we say about them is worse! <laughs> and no one cares! Anyways, suddenly after this court order came out, they fulfilled the terms of the court order, and then within two days of fulfilling the court or three days less than a week of fulfilling the court order. suddenly our entire account was suspended and then later throughout as the court proceedings went on twitter revealed in the paperwork that they submitted in an affidavit that they submitted to the court that our, my lawyers gave me our lawyers excuse me um twitter basically said that they banned atheist republic for so-called ban evasion meaning armin and i are both personally banned on twitter as well because of this same bs because of all this same bs that i've kind of just listed and so they're basically saying that atheist republic is you know susanna and armin trying to get around their own personal ban but the problem with that whole argument argumentation is that one atheist republic's twitter account was created almost 10 years before i ever had a twitter so how can atheist republic be me, you know, trying to get around my own ban when it was created almost 10 years in advance. Second, it was basically conflating me and Armin as individuals with Atheist Republic as an organization. Like these are all three separate entities. They are not representative of each other. Like we as individuals have our own personal Twitter accounts. And some of that is dedicated to representing Atheist Republic, some of it. But Atheist Republic's Twitter account is not dedicated towards representing Armin and Susanna. 
we're just two of the most public faces. Atheist Republic's Twitter account is towards representing our global community as an organization and a registered nonprofit in Canada and 501c3 in the United States. So saying that we're doing a ban of yeah. for us as individuals we shouldn't, is not we true. Shouldn't ex- we, we shouldn't explain that because people so might use it against. But anyways, anyways, the good news is, is that we're back for now. So back. go follow us. We're follow us, here. yeah. <laughs> go follow Atheist Republic on Twitter. And also, look at this suggestion. I was going to do that. Susanna didn't let me. Susanna was like, can we please try to keep this account? I'm like, fine. <laughs> I was gonna so Hindustani Bao was saying make a tweet on Kelly for revenge. I really like we're not even posting our blasphemy on Twitter. Like I, I think it's safe to post our blasphemy on Twitter, isn't it? But I don't People, know. No, we fought so hard to get it back. Sure. I just don't want to have everything go down in flames again. I spend so much of my time battling these social media platforms. I'm like, we got a small W. Can we enjoy it for a little while? A little while. Okay, fine. Hmm. Um, I'm still banned. I don't know why. Armin is still banned. At least he got an explanation. It's wrong, yeah. but at least he got an explanation. But we're yeah. working on it. Anyways, we should move on. Guys, make sure you like the video. So shiny, uh, shiny D. That sounds like a. Okay. Sorry, Armin, for my repetitive comments. Actually, I thought that you aren't receiving my comments. Should I ask now? Well, we have like a few seconds, but we're about to end there show um Becca's saying don't let them silence you Susanna <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right oh look at this what day did we get them back we got this um like a week a week ago right like yeah. a week and a half a week and a half so we say Twitter is horrible well it's getting yeah it's weird um hearts for Susanna thank you everyone oh, thank you. um Oh my god people are saying but but elon musk is a hero of free speech you guys uh so you are now free to make uh veil threats and dead name trans people but not criticize hinduism apparently yeah guys like uh, twitter it doesn't make any sense anymore right like i mean it never made sense but now it's even more chaotic we don't know what could get you get it's there's very little communication between uh, Twitter and the users, so we have no idea what could get us banned now, right now. And there's that idea of you could say anything that's not true. Like Elon himself is responsible for actively getting people banned based on things that offends him. So we have no idea. We have no idea. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.